Hello everyone and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to cancel a tween in Roblox. Here in my workspace you can see I have three different parts. I have the blue part, the red part and the yellow part. Now let's go to our service script service. We're going to add a script. In your script just enter the following lines. On the first line here I'm declaring my tween service. And then I'm declaring each of those parts in my workspace. I got the blue part, the red part, and the yellow part. Here I'm declaring my twin info for my twin service. So I'm giving it 20 seconds to complete the twin. I'm going to be moving the blue part to the red part. So basically, I want my blue part here to move towards the red part. So I'm changing the C frame of the blue part. And I want it to end up where the red part is but I do not want it to hit the red part. So I'm adding a vector three here. So it's gonna stop before it reaches the red part. And here we're just waiting for seven seconds before we play the tween. Let's now play in take a look. The blue ball is moving towards the red ball and it should stop before it hits the red ball because we did not want it to hit the red ball. And the entire thing takes 20 seconds. All right, so that's all just a quick review from our prior tutorial on twin basics. Let's now add in the following lines. Here I'm basically adding a touch event to the yellow part and I'm checking for humanoid that is touching the yellow part. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to cancel a tween. To cancel a tween, you're gonna use the cancel function of the tween service. So we're going to start with the tween that is currently being played, which is tween, followed by colon, cancel. This is going to cancel the tween that is currently being played. Let's now play and take a look. All right, so let me go to my yellow box. That's the box that when I touch it, it's gonna cancel the tween. You see the tween is being played right now. If I don't do anything, the blue ball is gonna reach the end over here. But now if I touch the yellow ball, the box, it stops right away because the tween has been canceled. Another way to cancel a tween would be to play another tween that is changing the same exact property of the part. And the second tween is gonna cancel the first tween. Let's now take a look at an example of that. So. In here, I'm gonna insert a line here where we're gonna save the blue part C frame before it is being changed by this tween. So we, we say, we're saving the original C frame of the blue part in here, which we're gonna use later for our second tween. And down here, instead of canceling the first tween, I'm gonna play a second tween. So here I'm creating my second tween info, second target, and a second tween. And then I play my second tween. Basically my second tween is going to take the blue part back to the C frame that we have saved originally. So it's going to take it back to the original position of the blue part. Let's now play in take a look. So there's all the parts. I'm gonna go to the yellow box and you can see the blue part is start, has started to move towards the red part. Now I'm gonna touch the yellow box and you see the blue part is going back to the original position where we started and it should stop when it reaches there. Everyone, those are two different ways to cancel a tween in Roblox. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care.